another YouTube video this week we are doing a work week in my life video we do so many weekend vlogs but I figured let's vlog during the work week if anyone doesn't know I am an account strategist for a tech company that supports retail clients so there's always lots to do. Today is Monday. Today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And I have a packed day ahead of me, but I really feel like I started off on the right foot. I have a three-day free trial of Equinox, so I woke up 7 a.m., got ready, went to the gym, I did a walk on the treadmill, I stretched, I came back, showered, I felt really good. I'm not a morning person at all, so transitioning myself to be a morning person is <laughs> a little bit of a challenge, but I definitely feel so much more productive starting work this morning, like when I sat down at my desk starting work versus when I just roll out of bed and start work. I feel ready to go and my brain is already like working versus being like in a fog of being tired starting the day off on the right foot lots to do um i think i'll need to run some errands later and then tonight is of course valentine's day so i'm gonna finally get all dolled up and wear my cute little dress so i'm really happy and i'm hoping that my stuff that i <laughs> delivered to lyle today makes it to him and yeah can't wait to celebrate valentine's day with him later but for right now, I'm just on my laptop getting some work done. Work from home, outfit of the day. I have this little top, it's from H&M. And it's like a little sweater tank top. I wear it all the time when I'm home. It's just like so easy. And then these pants I got at a sample sale. They're almost like, almost like a cashmere wool kind of material. Um, purple like wide leg pants and they have a little tie there <laughs> not too bad but I've been working 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 I'm about to make some lunch my own little Caesar wrap. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> All right, it is six o'clock p.m. now, so the work day is done, and I now get to shift into not work <laughs> mindset. Just valentine's day mode yeah so i started curling my hair thankfully i already have my outfit picked out so i don't have to worry about that uh, i did that video on the val come shopping with me for valentine's day which i'll link if you didn't already see it but i'm going to wear that dress uh it is very cool today so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to wear the shoes i'll, I'll definitely wear tights either way because it is a mini dress but yeah, it's 24 degrees, so it's below freezing, so I can't be wearing open-toed shoes. Part of me was being a little bit optimistic because the weather can be so unpredictable in New York. Like, for example, this past weekend it was 60 degrees, so if it had been that today instead of Saturday, I totally could have worn those shoes. But whatever, it's still going to be a cute outfit. I'm going to accessorize it. So... <laughs> kind of funny I actually have French class before my dinner date with Lyle tonight so I'm gonna go to French class I I'm and I'm trying to decide if I want to dress up and just show up to my French class in my dress and my 
with my gifts and stuff or if I want to, it's going to be a, such a short time frame between when French class ends and when our dinner res reservation is. So, like, I don't want to be rushing and make us late to the reservation either. So, I'm kind of trying to, like, decide. I think, I think because at least the good thing is that the French class, my apartment, Lyle's apartment, and the restaurant are all in the same vicinity with all within walking distance. So, I think what I might do is just wear a different outfit to French class after French class is done, run up here, change my outfit, grab my gifts, go over to Lyle's, give him the gifts, and then do dinner. <laughs> so, yes, but right now I'm just curling my hair. So actually, maybe I can show you guys how I've been curling my hair recently, which is, I just use a curling iron. This is a one inch curling iron. It does have a clamp, but I don't use the clamp. And it's funny, this is actually something I taught myself to do when I was maybe like, 13 or 14 I don't know whenever I first started curling my hair when I was like a young a young teenager and it, this was before I knew that they could make curls without clamps I was just bored in my bedroom as a teenager I had nothing else to do and I was playing around with my hair and my curling iron and I just did this and then now I mean obviously of course like in today's world that's not really a new thing it's just like everyone knows to do this now and they even make curling irons without clamps but I remember thinking oh wow that gives a totally different type of curl than using the clamp and then ever since then I just did that instead so yeah so that's what I've been doing and I just take small little pieces and I actually hold it out so that the end is not being curled that was something that Jasmine taught me and when you do that it kind of gives it like more of like a cool girl kind of a curl look rather than like prom curls. So yeah, so I've been doing that. Okie dokie, ready for Valentine's dinner. I have on the Reformation dress. I styled it the same way with the necklace, my earrings and the lipstick. And I did the boots because it's freezing out. So I'm just gonna throw my jacket on and grab my gifts for Lyle. I am going to show you one of the gifts because I feel like this could actually be really useful for a lot of girls. So this is a heart and you would think like, oh, this is like girly chocolates or whatever. No, it is jerky. So if you have a guy that you don't want to get in something that looks too girly or whatever, they sell these jerky hearts. They're from this company called Man Crates. And I get them for Lyle every year and he loves them. And I think it's just such a fun idea to like for a guy for Valentine's Day. So that was one of the things. And then I have a gift there and the perfect card. And then I also baked him some stuff as well. So yeah, and I sent him some stuff at work. <laughs> Day dinner was ended up being really nice. I highly recommend that place, Il Buco. It's on Bond Street, and they have three. If you were to search on Google Maps, there would be three places called Il Buco that come up in the same area. So, this is the one that's on Bond Street, and it was so cute and cozy, and it had this like warm kind of in very inviting feel and the food was very very good so that was nice yesterday was a good day and then I came back 
and I actually did go to Equinox again this morning so I did a quick walk on the treadmill and some stretching and I'm going back again tonight to try out a class so the class is going to be my final judgment <laughs> on this place if I like the class then you know then we'll see how I feel I've been doing work this morning I just got off of a client call I think I'm about to make some lunch because it's actually, it's about, it's 11.40 and I'm hungry, so I think I'm just gonna make it now, but. Hi, yeah. Thank you so much. got this lovely flower delivery in the mail from Lyle. Apparently it was supposed to come yesterday for Valentine's Day, but they were a little backed up. So, aw, it's so sweet. <laughs> There's balloons too. Aw, <laughs> I love it. to the USPS, the postal, the post office, to drop off a package and some clothes that I sold in my Depop. And you'll never guess who I saw, who is right down there. Ashley from Best Dressed. <laughs> I, and it just hit me, like somebody just messaged me the other day about like, why wouldn't you stop and say hi to someone? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop and say hi to her. <laughs> And I did, and she just was like trying to take pictures, so I just kind of stood there really awkwardly, and I didn't want to bother her, but I was finally like, are you Ashley? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, and she was super nice, and I was like, I love your YouTube channel, and she was like, I love your earmuffs, <laughs> they're super cute. So I thought that was really nice. Um, I wish I was bold enough to get her on the video, but she looked busy, and I just, I didn't want to bother her any more than I already, did and I was already being awkward enough <laughs> so anyways she looked really awesome she's probably like attending some New York Fashion Week event um, in the area <sighs> I feel like I almost want to go back and like well how about this if I drop off my stuff at the post office and I go back the same way and she's still there then I'll see then I'll ask if I can get her in my YouTube <laughs> video but if she's not there then it wasn't meant to be, but you know, sometimes it's weird to just shove a camera in someone's face, especially when they're busy, but that was so cool. That's what I love about this area, is like, you just never know who you're gonna run into, and everyone, especially everyone in fashion, is in this area, and it's just, it's just so crazy to me. I feel like I need to think more about like, what I would say besides just like, are you Ashley? Da, 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 all doe-eyed staring at her. You know, I just need to think about, I need to think about these things. Back at my apartment from the post office and sadly I walked back the exact same way, up the same street, down the same street. I looked all around and I didn't see her. So it just, I don't know, it kind of makes me feel bad that, just sad that I didn't say something in the moment. But that is okay, we live and we learn. Maybe one day I'll get a chance to see her again. Um, but I just told her that when I did see her that I loved her YouTube channel. Um, and if she's not really on YouTube anymore, I realized that after I said that. But hopefully she knew that it was coming from a genuine place. So yeah, I just feel a little like, my brain is like in a fog right now of like, whoa, I, like I just saw a celebrity. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's four o'clock. I have some more work to do and one more meeting but lots of work to do and then I'm taking my Pilates class at 6.30 so I have to be done within the next hour and a half. So wish me luck. <laughs> It is 
it's not even the morning it's wednesday now and it is two o'clock almost three o'clock p.m and i realized i've just been working 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 and i haven't picked up my vlogging camera at all today i mean to be fair nothing interesting has been going on i have just been working my little tail off at work today i have a presentation in two minutes it's a hour-long presentation that I'm going to be speaking so I've just been preparing for that and updating the deck and everything so yes yeah, so I have that and then afterwards I have to prepare for afterwards I have another meeting and then in the morning I have a call at 9 30 a.m. so I'm going to have to basically prepare for that call tonight so that I don't have to stress about it and wake up early in the morning but yes, wish me luck on my presentation. <laughs> hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. up my dry cleaning and my meeting went really well um, actually my co-worker told me that it was the best one yet so I'm really happy about that um, I'm also just really happy that it's over with and that it's done and then I can check that off my list now so yeah so I have one more call early tomorrow morning and then after that it's just like you know emails and reports and you know stuff like that and then I can start getting excited for the weekend. So I think maybe tomorrow night I'll start packing for the little ski trip. So that'll be really fun um, just to go away and <laughs> take Lyle with me and yeah. Hello. <laughs> I have ordered sushi and some edamame and I'm going to watch some Netflix. I'm still doing work. It's about eight o'clock p.m. And I have to still prepare for the call that's at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. I'm like halfway done preparing, but I have a little bit more to do. And then after I eat dinner and watch one episode, I'm going to edit my Thursday YouTube video. I was editing it last night, so I'm about halfway done, so I'll do the other half tonight. And then tomorrow is Thursday, and it's basically like my Friday since I have Friday off. So I'm really excited about that, and I need chopsticks. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. We have finally made it to the last day of the work week and it is a beautiful day outside. It is 64 degrees. So I'm about to head outside and grab a quick salad for lunch. I just threw a little jacket on and a lighter top. We'll see how it actually feels outside, but I have a feeling it's beautiful. So this works out perfectly that I need to buy lunch today because I have an excuse to go outside and take a little walk. I'm gonna do that and then I have a meeting at, right now it's 1.50, I have a meeting at 2.30 and and then more meetings, more work, and I'll be packing later. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you were carrying me I just hope you me to shut off my computer and get ready for the weekend so that really satisfying thing where you can x out of all of your tabs <laughs> at once that is what i'm doing right now and my out of office message is on it says do not contact me <laughs> no just kidding um but my out of office is on goodbye outlook goodbye slack Goodbye Zoom. I feel like it's like that book, Goodnight Moon, but it's the adult version, like, goodbye Outlook, goodbye Slack. Okay. Unplugging everything. 
<sighs> the old shut down. Yay. I am walking to Los Tacos number one for dinner because <laughs> their tacos are just so good. Also, life is just so crazy sometimes. I feel like work wise, I have a little bit of a harder week, but right down there on Houston Street on the corner, <laughs> there's this big billboard of one of the brands I work with. It's an apparel brand. You've definitely heard of them. Definitely, unless you've been loving under a rock. You've been famous for quite a long time. And I was just walking there like, how do I work with that brand? I just, how is it that I'm living exactly where I wanted to live? In the neighborhood, in the apartment, everything. And I walk by and that's there. It's just almost like this dream life that I have no idea. But I knew how I could, that I, that I could actually create. It's just crazy. I mean, just, I don't know, just believing in yourself. And I feel like after a long, hard week, it's cool to see stuff like that and just remind yourself of how far you've come. job of packing for my ski trip <laughs> so as I do that I want to show you a couple of things that I'm packing because if anyone else is going on a ski trip whether it's this year next year whenever there's some things you got to know about stuff that you need to bring and <laughs> well I'm not someone that has skied at all in the last gosh like 10 15 10, 15 years. <laughs> I am someone that grew up skiing. I, I did grow up in the mountains. If you want to check my come home for Christmas with me and come home for Thanksgiving with me videos, you will see that. Um, but yes, I grew up skiing, so I know some stuff. Okay, first things first, snow pants, of course. I, living in New York, have not had a reason to buy snow pants. I mean, there's been a good snow day here and there, but it's not like I'm going out and playing in the snow. But you do need actual snow pants for skiing and I had searched high and low for ski pants. There are so many cute ski pants out there, like so much stuff that I really, really was so tempted to buy. But at the end of the day, I was like, I'm only going on this one little trip. If I decide to make this a thing and like become the skier or whatever in the future, then I'll invest in the nicer stuff. But for now, I just found this on Amazon, this pair of like white plain old ski pants they're a little bit of a flare at the bottom there and yeah they're from amazon only thing is that i had to order them a size up because they didn't have my usual size so these do fit me a little bit on the baggier side <laughs> however i think if you ordered them in your actual size obviously they would fit um but yeah i'm gonna link these and then to match <laughs> i found this jacket on h&m <laughs> So this kind of reminded me of some of the other stuff I was seeing on those cool sites with all the cool ski gear. So yeah, and H&M um, actually had a matching pair of ski pants that were on the website that I so would have bought. I kept refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and they were totally out of stock. But I'll leave them linked in case they do come back in stock because it would have been the perfect thing. But whatever, I got the, I got the top. But underneath that, <laughs> you need your base layers. So really what that just means is the clothes that kind of hug to your body and keep regulate your body temperature and keep you warm. So as a girl, I just wear leggings. This is just a pair of plain back leggings. These are like the Zella leggings from Nordstrom. So I'm gonna bring those. And then the other ones are just a pair that I've had forever. This is like, you can't really tell the color, but it's like this darker blue. So I'm just gonna have a second pair in case I need them. I'm not going for that long. It's only Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, no, sorry, today's Thursday. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday. So it's a short trip. For the top, you need thermals. So 
I mean, you could have thermal like bottoms too, but leggings is pretty much the same exact thing. Um, this is a thermal from Uniqlo. Uniqlo Clo sells so many thermals. Actually, fun fact, this one Glossier gave me when I worked there because there was a day in the store where the heat was shut off in winter. So um, they basically kept the store open and just bought everybody thermals. So yeah. This one, just good Uniqlo Thermal. This this is like so warm. I actually love this. I'm so glad that I discovered this through them because I wear this so much in the winter under sweaters. And it's perfect for things like this. And then I also have this other one that I'm going to bring as well. Um, this is from Under Armour. I've had this for a long, long time as well. Um, yeah, this is just like a long sleeve white one. But yeah, basically what you need is base layers. And you can find them at a lot of different places mittens <laughs> so i got these ones also on amazon they are from roxy and they're actually really really warm and cozy inside like <laughs> i just want to wear these all the time because they actually are like so 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 soft on the inside and they're kind of rough here so this is going to be like because you have to have your hands out when you're actually going down the mountain whether you're holding your poles or whatever so yes yeah, so you've got your <clears throat> mittens here I will link those from Amazon and then also from Amazon I got a pair of goggles <laughs> so this one I found it's just like white around like around the outside and then this pink little strap here so this is actually like goes around your <laughs> your helmet so it's it's a little bit bigger but I mean obviously you can like adjust it on the side and it matches with the jacket so this whole thing kind of goes together and the next thing you need is a pair of ski socks. I actually don't own a pair. I'm going to borrow a pair of my mom's when we get up there. But it's basically a really long pair of socks so that it like can reach up above your like your ski boots. Also the other thing with like the ski pants as well is that inside it has this like at the bottom of the leg this like stretchy kind of thing. It just basically ensures that you're not going to get any snow up on your skin and make you really cold. And then obviously you need a pair of boots just to wear around like, you know, when you're going to the actual ski place. <laughs> to the ski place before you change into your ski boots. Um, just a pair of boots to wear, like winter boots. These ones are not ideal. Um, actually, I really wanted to get a pair of moon boots but the ones that i wanted were sold out so i think i'm gonna have to wait till next year on the moon boots but for now i'm just bringing these ones this is the closest thing that i have and like i said i don't really want to spend money on this trip and then also a hat earmuffs whatever works for you for when you're walking up to the ski place so that is that other things that i'm bringing i pulled out a selection of sweaters for myself to bring up there mostly my sweaters that are made out of materials that will keep you the most warm which is wool and like cashmere um, not to be like bougie or anything but um, but yeah so I have this one that I got from Saks when I worked there this one actually I feel totally totally lied to I got this sweater you guys know this one from Cezanne and I just realized that it is not, in fact, like a wool cashmere at all. It is 100% polyester. I feel completely lied to, but <laughs> anyways, I'm bringing it regardless. And then this one from And Other Stories, which, I mean, this is just super, super, like, easy. It's just a little button down with a collar. Oh, and then pretty much just to wear on the car ride up there. I'm going to bring this same jacket that I've been wearing all week. This is from ASOS and it's super fuzzy. It zips up. It has a hood. I just feel like in the car ride on the way up there, I can just zip this up and just, just sleep like this. And I love how the sleeves come together like this as well. Um, and it's cropped. So yeah it's it's super easy all right i am officially all packed i've got all my stuff packed away in here and then i have my outfit to travel in just laid out here for tomorrow so that is it i'm going to say goodbye to you here 
I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me on just some general days in my life in a work week and if you did like it of course don't forget to subscribe and check out the fashion squirrel and I will see you guys next time <laughs> okay bye